I'm just gonna get straight to the point. Hot Taxi is a masterpiece, and I recommend everyone give this show a chance. Like me, upon first inspection, you see anthropomorphic animals and probably think, oh, so it's like Beastars. Well, the answer to that is yes and no. Hot Taxi is like Beastars, with amazing characters that are extremely grounded in reality and feel more human than most anime characters. Unlike Beastars, there's less rabbit f***ing. Rabbit sex fits extremely well into the narrative of Beastars, but I can totally understand people being put off with sexing up a rabbit, and probably prefer this when they think about banging a bunny. Yes, Odd Taxi happens to feature animal characters just like Beastars. Odd Taxi also passes the animal Turing test by making their characters feel human and relatable. However, this time there is no rabbit porking. I promise you won't start popping boners at the zoo after watching Odd Taxi. However, you will have your mind blown at how well the mystery, characters, and narrative are all tied together. So, with those out of the way, let's talk about the story of Odd Taxi. The story of Odd Taxi revolves around a humble taxi driver named Odokawa. Odokawa's simple life of driving a taxi for a living leads him to meet several unique individuals around Tokyo. One of which was a high school teenage girl that mysteriously went missing after getting into Odokawa's taxi. Naturally, this has Odokawa tangled in a police case of a missing high school girl, and Odokawa manages to become the center of both the Yakuza and police's attention. Right off the bat, you can probably guess that this is a story with a large sense of mystery to it. However, the execution of the mystery elements in Odd Taxi is one of the most unique executions I've seen in an anime. Otokawa's taxi driving profession introduces many unique characters that seemingly have zero connection whatsoever. You have a university student trying to go viral, a struggling comedic duo, a singing idol trio, the Yakuza, the police, a doctor, a nurse, a tinder using middle aged man, and the list goes on. Somehow all these disparate parts connect directly and indirectly to the overall mystery of what the hell happened to the missing teenage girl. Each seemingly unrelated character also raises new questions and mysteries throughout the show that had me constantly thinking, how in the world are they going to wrap up all these loose ends? Fortunately, the end of the show manages to answer every question and curiosity I had with an amazingly satisfying payoff. Odd Taxi will not disappoint if you're a fan of mystery narratives. In fact, Odd Taxi enhances the sense of mystery to new levels, with each continuous episode adding subtle details and hints of seemingly unrelated characters to reveal their connection to each other. Definitely a must watch for those into mysteries. Our main character is a 41 year old taxi driver named Odokawa. Odokawa has a very jaded personality and is often unamused when speaking to the side characters of the show. That being said, Odokawa will make you laugh when you're least expecting it. Odokawa is a cheeky bastard, and his dialogue is full of sarcastic dry humor that really makes him stand out as a character. He'll deliver his lines with a monotone resting bitch face, and all of a sudden, you'll find yourself laughing because the content of his remarks is so damn witty and hilarious. Personally, I was able to draw many parallels between Odokawa and Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher 3. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Wanna hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Both men are notorious for dry humor while not showing much emotion, and complemented by phenomenal writing that makes their dialogue feel realistic and human. If you enjoy characters like Gero of Rivia, you'll most likely have a lot of fun with Otokawa and Odd Taxi. Quick mention of the side characters. The side characters are all very likable, and each serve as a puzzle piece to the overall mystery of the story. It is really impressive how well the seemingly unrelated side characters are tied together, and the show does a masterful job at leaving us subtle hints and details episode to episode. As the characters build up, new mysteries arise, which adds to the suspense and immense payoff at the end of the show. Last thing I want to mention is the character dialogue and writing. Simply put, there's a lot of dialogue in Odd Taxi, however the writing is some of the best in anime. On top of having dry humor from Odokawa incorporated into the lines, the dialogue feels like real conversations that humans would have. The banter is very natural without forcing a single line, which says a lot considering my eyes are showing me animals, but my brain is constantly thinking that they're human. The writing is extremely well done, and the dialogue alone could easily carry this anime. Odd Taxi is set in Tokyo, and the city is depicted beautifully in the show. Looking at a still of the art doesn't do it any justice. I really can't put my finger on why Tokyo is so beautiful in the show, but I think the art definitely nails the feel of a real city extremely well. Lots of life in the periphery and movement of characters and objects makes Tokyo feel alive as it would in the real world. 
One important thing I want to point out real quick is the misleading assumptions I had from the cover art of the anime. The cover art made me assume that the show isn't a continuous story. Instead, it gave me the vibe of an episodic series where each episode is its own contained story about a different passenger in the taxi. This is obviously not the case. Odd Taxi is a continuous story with each episode very connected to each other. Just wanted to make that clear in case people were worried about that. All in all, the art is very unique and really effective at depicting a believable Tokyo. Briefly going over the music. The music is dope. Lots of tracks that are chill hip hop beats without lyrics. If you're into that, you'll love the music here. There's great usage of hip hop music involving a character that only speaks by rapping his lines. His dialogue is important to the plot, but half the times I just find myself bumping to the sick beats since they slap harder than Ray Rice. Also the opening song is a banger. Odd Taxi is a dark mystery that develops with the well-written characters in a beautifully depicted Tokyo. If you like Geralt of Rivia, you'll like the main character Odokawa. If you enjoy banter-driven films from Quentin Tarantino or Martin McDonagh, you'll love the character interactions and dialogue in Odd Taxi. If you like mysteries, you'll be amazed at how well orchestrated Odd Taxi's mystery components are. Simply put, Odd Taxi is a masterpiece that shouldn't be slept on. One episode should be enough to leave you curious for more story, and you'll notice the pacing speeds up after 5-ish episodes. Well, that wraps up my recommendation for Odd Taxi. I hope this video was helpful. I'm off for now. Take care, everybody. マリチリングって切ないな。嘘ついてまで結婚したいか最近のおっさん脳みそ退化行き着くところは首吊りしたいか偽物の恋に貢ぎ物こっちから